Okay, our next team coming in is going to be uh, Gearheads, 16460. I'll let you guys introduce yourselves as we get the next team going here and uh, let us know what you've been working on. Sounds good, thank you. Hello, my name is Avanish and I'm Matthew. So we're part of 16460, the Gearheads, and today we're gonna, just going to give you um, a brief um, um, uh, summary of what our robot that we've been working on today. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Check out the new Robots Building System by Andymark. Designed for accessibility, iteration, and progression in mind, Robots encourages rapid iteration and promotes development of critical thinking and problem solving. Integrate Robots with your team. Head on over to andymark.com to learn more and order today. So I'll start along with the drivetrain and the chassis. So we've uh, opted for using um, like a similar design to what we've done before with the Mechanim chassis with our um, custom CNC side plates that are very sturdy. And then uh, this, we kind of use this chassis because it's very, uh, it's very stable and doesn't allow the robot to tip over when our elevator is fully extended. And we're going to keep uh, making some modifications on that to fit all our attachments. Um, so if you watched the Fun Network last year at all and followed us, um, this is the same version one robot as last year, just with a lot of the interior parts taken off of it. So today we haven't had to build a drivetrain. And one of the biggest parts we haven't had to build is a huge elevator. So we um, kind of got a head start on this year's challenge with that. But um, yeah. Um, so the first big part that we'll walk through is obviously how we're picking up the pixel pieces and putting them onto the boards. So that starts with a huge elevator. And in the beginning of the game, if our elevator were to be in its uh, scoring position, it would be out of the 18 inch uh, box. So we have a drop mechanism, we call it, which is basically just a little servo that lets the elevator fall at the beginning of the match. So then we're able to score. Um, pretty simply, it's kind of just a cloth on the end of a huge elevator. So it um, reaches down to the uh, pixels in the human player station. Um, down. Then it would grab them, and then, and then once, it's, once ready it's ready to drop them, it it'll lift, it'll lift up and then extend, extend to whatever, to whatever, whatever height, height we need to drop, to drop the pixels. Um, um, the biggest part of this design is that it it's a little slow, and right now it only allows us to pick up one pixel. So our hope is that. Um, by the end of this challenge, we'll design something that can pick up both pixels at the same time. So we're maximizing our um, efficiency with that. Um, yeah, sure. And then um, the, one of the things we're working on currently is the drone launcher. Using a, a um, this is what we've designed so far. Is we, we've mounted this um, two motor system with compliancy and it's pretty simple and that the, the drone will fit right into the robot and it will sit there uh, uh, throughout the game and then when uh, end game is ready and then we can launch it uh, these compliant wheels will fire and the drone will be fired outside the field so that's what we're working on right now and then um, uh, throughout the night we'll be making a couple more adjustments and this is our robot so far I have a question from Sid Rain which is why did you guys choose to use your old robot um, so obviously the big advantage of having last year's robot still intact is mainly the drivetrain and more specific to this one is the elevator. Um, it gives us a big head start because most of the first challenges when they come out involve something with picking an object up and raising it up high to a certain height. So we knew most likely we'd need an elevator and we knew that just this drivetrain worked well and it's kind of like a multi-purpose. So it might not specialize in one thing super well, but it does everything pretty decently for us. So. I have another question from Abraham Mahmoud. Have you encountered any stability issues with that elevator and claw design when you move towards dropping the pixel? See, that is a good question and something we considered. Now, if it were to tip over, so you can extend it all the way, Avanish. If it does tip over, you can let it tip over. If it tips over, as soon as you try to drive backwards or bring the elevator back in, it would come back onto its. You guys wheels. learned from last year a little bit, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, we had so some stability. Last, last year, year there was a huge mechanism in the back of this, so it wouldn't fall over like that, but for the 30 hour build, it's all right. 
I have two questions regarding the drones, one from Helen Saunders and one from Software Poet. Question one is, how sturdy does your drone need to be for your compliant wheel launcher? And question two is, so the plane is loaded in the wheels while stopped, and then you spin it all at once. Um, yeah, so we haven't uh, we haven't tested our drone launcher yet uh, with the robot, but when we tested it separately, uh, we used just a one uh, like the the regular uh, paper airplane folding technique to make our, our drones, and we found out that since they're compliant wheels and they're uh, obviously soft, they don't need to be that sturdy. One issue is that if if the compliant if the drone is sitting inside the robot, uh, if wires and other parts are in the way, it might get torn up or things like that. So we're we're currently changing our design so that the inside of the robot is hollow to account for that um, less kind of structural integrity. Uh, let's go ahead and take the last question that's in chat right now. We'll try to get to any others as we go through, but we got a lot of teams to get to. So grab the one from Helen there. Okay, Helen Saunders says, "Do you have any mechanism plans for your end game suspension?" Um, currently we don't, but. We're working on it. Yes. So, so tomorrow you'll see something, hopefully. Yep. Awesome. We hope. <laughs> um, so, Gearheads, congratulations on a great day so far. What, um, so, as you end tonight, as, as watch all teams, what is the thing you're going to immediately work on? What can people catch you working on right um, after this? The first thing we're going to work on is getting all the – we use state machines to program our lift and arms. So, currently we're working on that and then testing the drone launcher is our biggest goal. All right, well, best of luck to you. We know there's some outstanding questions in chat, so we'll try to get those answered for gearheads as well. Uh, but we're going to let them get back to work as well, too. And our next team coming up, I think, is going to be 7974. Uh, great Scott will be coming on the field to showcase their robots. So thanks a lot, gearheads. Give them a big round of applause, Thank everybody. You. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Check out the new Robots Building System by AndyMark. Designed for accessibility, iteration, and progression in mind, Robots encourages rapid iteration and promotes development of critical thinking and problem solving. Integrate Robots with your team. Head on over to AndyMark.com to learn more and order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.